Hey Chi Alpha, normally when a senior comes up and starts talking, we have dessert. So I encourage you, eat some dessert right now. I'm joining you from the Payette River in Idaho. As you can see, it's really beautiful. There, um, there are some nice things about being home, like this lovely river. But um, at the same time, I miss all of you so much. I am bummed that we can't all be together. But, um, but there's been fish jumping around and birds chirping and it's, it's really lovely right now. So the first thing I want to say is that you're deeply loved by more people than you can imagine. And even more amazing, you're perfectly loved by your perfect Heavenly Father. The second thing I want to say is that um, Chi Alpha has been a place that I can rely on, a people that I can rely on over the last four years that I've been at Stanford. And let's continue to rely on each other. Um, last year at this time, I was on a boat in the South Pacific with 37 other people. And what strikes me about that time was how we relied on each other for everything. When we used the handrail, we trusted that we weren't gonna get sick because someone had scrubbed it that morning. And there was someone at the helm or cooking a meal or checking the water filtration system or striking the sails literally 24 seven. And our surviving depended on relying. Um, and it's interesting, the first century church not only survived, but was so compelling because of the way they relied on each other as well. Acts 22, sorry, Acts 2, 44 to 47 says, and all who believed were together and had all things in common. And they were selling their possessions and belongings and sharing the proceeds with all as any had need. And day by day, attending the temple together and breaking bread in their homes, they received their food with thanksgiving, praising God and having favor with all people. And the Lord added to their number day by day those who were being saved. So I just want to say, I want to break bread in my home with all of you. I want to see you again. I want to share with you. And starting in spring 2021, and for five and maybe six years after that, I'm going to be doing a PhD at UC San Diego. So if any of you happen to be in San Diego, I expect you to stay with me. And even in 40 years, if you reach out to me on Facebook or whatever cool gizmo exists then, I look forward to connecting with you and supporting you and um, just being there and being part of this community uh, going forward. I think this modern world um, makes us feel like we can do things on our own and we don't need anyone else. Or maybe now that everything's changed, you feel like you need someone else and you're stuck by yourself. And I just wanna say, let's rely on each other. Um, third thing is that one of the things that I am so glad I've learned from Chi Alpha over the past four years is worship. And I love the heart of worship in Chi Alpha. Um, I grew up in a, in a very subdued worship environment and in Chi Alpha, from all of you, um, I've learned what it looks like to worship without holding back, to revel in God's presence, to be madly in love with our Savior Jesus as we worship, and to trust that he's alive. And I just want to thank you for teaching me that lesson over the last four years. I want to finish with the prayer that I've been praying just about daily during this time. And it changes a little bit, but it goes like this. God, you are almighty, you are good, and we trust you, God. We look to you as our savior and as our deliverer. God, your ways are higher than ours. You see with a perspective that's so much wider, God. Um, God, I pray that you teach me, you teach us to see others as you see them, as children of God and to see ourselves as you see us, made in your image. God, we wouldn't have chosen this situation for ourselves. We wouldn't have chosen pain. We wouldn't have chosen frustration. We wouldn't have chosen sickness. But in all of these things, God, we trust that you'll use them to grow us 
and God, I pray that our faith would grow. I pray that our love and our perseverance would grow by your grace. Thank you, God, for saving us, for being our perfect Savior. We pray this in the matchless name of Jesus. Amen. So, thank you, Chi Alpha. You all are amazing. You're not alone. I want to see you again, and let's rely on each other. Let's pursue God's wisdom and seek growth. I'm so grateful for each and every one of you and for all of my time in Chi Alpha over the past four years. It's been a wonderful blessing. And grace and peace be with all of you.